Have you ever thought of Cyan as a zombie? I swear, I never really made that association until very late. I mean, zombies are usually so frail and small. Anyway, to counter him, pick someone like Pantheon who can spear the hell out of him without much retaliation from the big guy. Garen can spin to win like he usually does and get out of the way when he's trying to knock you up. And Riven has so much mobility and CC, he won't be able to do much. Darius wins any fight with him, Jax for his small leap, and Ness is because he can stack and essentially ignore him, make other good counters too. Sion's passive will revive him after 1.7 25 seconds of dying, during which time he'll gain a lot of extra life steal and his life is going down gradually. He can move and auto attack freely and gains extra movement speed. His Q makes him channel for up to 2 seconds and will knock enemies up as well as stun them if they get hit by the full duration of it. If not, then they'll just take a portion of the damage and be slowed. His W shields him for a long duration at first cast and will make the shield explode dealing magic damage on the second cast. His E is a skill shot that deals magic damage in a small line in front of him, also reducing armor. If it hits a minion, then it will get thrown and gain extra range from it. Finally, his ultimate makes him charge in a target direction, which he can sort of control by tilting sideways. He'll stop when he collides with terrain or enemy champions, pulling them to him and stunning them based on the amount he traveled. Scions usually have this in conjunction with Q right after to get a proper knockup. The CC chain can have you stop for up to 4 seconds if the combo is pulled off properly. In terms of spells, because you're probably gonna find him in the top lane, teleport is extremely likely. I would take the same. As for power spikes, he's strongest in the early game and falls off as the game progresses, so try to survive in the first few minutes of the game and you'll have an easier time when you reach mid and late game. His level 2 with just Q and E can be dangerous and level 6 can replace his teleport a lot of times and also CC you when he gets there, so listen for the outcry. Righteous Glory will allow him to close the gap easily and Warmogs will heal him even back in lane. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, he'll revive after you kill him so reposition quickly, if you burst his shield before he casts it again it will deal no damage and player made terrain can also stop his ultimate so use it to your advantage. Ultimately, have fun doing it.